Okay, let us hope it's going to be fine. So, if we go to the hadith, Muhammad, he claimed that the reason for women to go to hell, three reasons. They are ungrateful to their husband, and we just saw Aisha, she's ungrateful to her husband, and Hafsa, and actually all the wives. And we can show the reference in the hadith, and we did already. And the second reason, because they have lack of intellect and wisdom. Read carefully. He says, you curse too much and ungrateful to your spouse. I have seen none lacking in common sense and failing in religion. But robbing the wisdom of the wise. A woman, she said to him, what is our, what's wrong with our common sense and religion? Muhammad, he said, the evidence for that that one uh, one man is equal to two women to be witness so women are stupid in fact by the way the translation here lacks sense this is a false translation it's about intellect it's about intelligence it's about you have half a brain not uh, what they're saying common sense just to change the translator here we go we just changed the same it's the same thing look how they lie in the translation trying to duct tape the, uh, the their prophet he said you, cur you frequently are uh, uh, you curse frequently and are ungrateful to your husband i have not seen more anyone anyone more deficient in intelligent and religion than you and remember muhammad is not speaking to a woman he's speaking to all women he's making a speech to all the muslims present i did not see anyone have more lack of the de and, de and deficient in intelligence and religion more than you. A woman, she was there, and obviously she is smart, but what she can do, you know, the idiot Muhammad will kill her. She said, oh, okay, oh, so what, uh, what, uh, what is the problem? <laughs> Muhammad, he, he decided to prove it to them. He said, isn't it you have two women equal to one man in the court? To witness isn't it that you Muslim women they said to him what is our what our, what our, our religion I mean we are Muslim like everybody they said don't you have your period have you ever heard of a stupid religion says that because a woman she have her period she have deficiency in religion and then you ask yourself well okay who is the one who made the women have period the muhammadan they say allah then i have to say you are a stupid period so why that will make her go to hell if menstruation is not a choice did she go to the refrigerator and she grab some blood and she have menstruation And here you see that Muhammad is describing menstruation as a curse. She is from the beginning a bad person. For all women have the same problem, which is what? They have a deficiency in religion, which is the menstruation. And remember, Muhammad is trying to explain why they will go to hell. You see, he's not describing why you don't, uh, you know, we don't give you a job here or there because you have administration, why you cannot be an imam. No, no, no. He's talking, you will go to hell. So, number one reason, you are ungrateful, but Aisha is ungrateful. And by the way, that, the story of Aisha, that she was ungrateful, is a proof the Quran again to be false. Why? Because the Quran said, Allah make a destiny, or He made a destiny, that bad women, they marry only bad men. It's a destiny, brother. It's a destiny. Allah is talking what you can say. Chapter 24, verse number 26, and here you see the stupid translation. Suddenly the word women became a statement. The bad women became statement.
You know, yesterday I was walking and I saw a very beautiful statement walking down the road. In Muhammad, what happened to your Quran? Women, they became a statement. I mean, what you people, what, what do you do? How you translate the Quran? What software you use? By the statement, we change the translation. Let us see. Let us go to Big Tal. By the statement, huh? What a bad, stupid religion. Look, 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 look. The bad statement turned to be a vile woman. Ma aman rabbi aman. That is a miracle. And the Muslim, they say, we never corrupt the Quran, but isn't it given false translation is a corruption? How in the world, the one, the, the bad woman, she became bad statement. If there is any bad statement lady here? This is, a, what, what the heck is this? Bad statement, here we go, solve the problem. It turned to be that bad women, they are bad. bad. So look what the stupid Muhammad, he said in the Quran. Bad women, they marry bad men. And bad men, they marry bad women. And here he's showing you again the stupidity. I mean, if you just said bad women, they marry bad men. Why you need to repeat? And bad men, they marry bad women. What? It's just saying you're stupid. It's a destiny, that's it. Why are you repeating the thing twice? And then good women for good men. Okay, 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 that's wonderful. So Allah, he made only good women marry good men. So how in the world Aisha turned to be a bad ass? And how Hafsa is the same? And how the rest of the wives of Muhammad, they are fighting with Muhammad? Hmm? Even the Quran says that Allah... You know, Allah and the angels, they are going to take side with Muhammad against Aisha and Hafsa. I mean, do you see what kind of religion? What so Aisha was so bad to the point. Muhammad, he needed the support of Allah. Let me change the translation here. It's too much uh, shish kebab. We want to make it little, uh, less words so people can see it. Huh? Here we go. You see, the, subhanallah, ass of Allah, how the Quran shrink in, in one click. It was wrong, long bracket. So if you turn into repentance to him, your heart are indeed inclined. But if you back each other, you filthy son of Mut'az, those females, Hafsa and Aisha, against him, him who prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is God on earth. Do you know what will happen if you do that? Truly, truly, truly Allah is his protector and Jibreel. Are we done? No, I mean Allah and Jibreel is not enough. We are talking about two women, they have 10 fingers. Guys, you don't understand the threat now Muhammad is suffering from. I'm telling you, the threat is beyond your imagination. This guy, Christian Prince, he might say to you things to make fun, but the fact, the threat is big. <clears throat> we are talking about two women. Not one. And those two women, they had 10 fingers. In case you do not know what 10 fingers mean for a female, ask Muhammad. Their nails is so sharp and so long and there is no way the prophet of Allah alone can stand a second with them brother and sisters just think about it for a second your wife her hands 
in your neck and you are the messenger of Allah peaceful man you can only you kill women children you rape them but you don't your women they are so strong what you would do put yourself in his shoes so he needed a very extra support from Allah from Jibreel and not only that all the believers in the world all of this to fight two women they are five foot four foot tall I think by the way I heard I'm not sure really I'm not really sure to be honest with you I cannot confirm this it's authentic or not I heard that Aisha she have a black belt and I heard that Hafsa she was playing Kung Fu actually some the companions they claim that Hafsa she was the cousin of a Bruce Lee and this is why it says that in the hadith says that Hafsa she said to the Prophet he he, which is subhanallah in Chinese and the funny is the Muslim they say that a guy his George his name is George Bernard Shaw he said in a book which nobody can find it's a fabrication nowhere actually George Bernard Shaw speak against Muhammad they made an article saying famous people speak about the Prophet George Bernard Shaw he said the Prophet he can solve all the problems in the world in the morning during the time of drinking his coffee and the guy is making popo in his pants because of two wives and the proof in front of you to the point he need Allah to stand with him to do what a protector do you see the protector I mean this world is is is, is, is really a protector is Allah enough no we need Jibreel to have 600 wings because it's hot those women are very hot you know is that enough? No, Osama bin Laden, Az Zawahiri, and they are dead, but we will bring them back, don't worry. And every single terrorist, ISIS, Al Qaeda, all, and furthermore, all the angels. They will do what? They will back him up, brother. And now, what the Abdu will say in the comment section? It is the Eve Quran. Now we go back that bad women for bad men. So the Quran lie, correct? Because if Allah made destiny that bad women, they marry only bad men, the only way for this to be true, that Muhammad is a bad man. Is that correct? Actually, I found a video of Yasser Qadi. He is trying to fix it. And he made it more blind. Hold on, let me go back. Listen, listen, it is misunderstood, and now the smart ass Yasser Qadi is going to fix it. And you will see how stupid he is. He just confirmed what he said is misunderstood. Listen carefully. Hmm. Guys, 
Listen carefully how this coward is trying to fix it. It says in the front of us on the screen, and he is the one who is posting it. I saw the most of inhabitants of the hell are women. And he is saying, well, uh, there's no sound. Uh, sorry for that. Okay, let me play it again. It's my fault. It's my fault. The women's section gave them a small, you know, sermon. And in that, he had a small phrase in there, you know, a sentence in there, in which he said that, uh, oh, uh, groups of women, uh, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, you know, uh, guard yourselves against Jahannam. For indeed, I saw that the majority of the people of Jahannam were women. And then he encouraged them to give salah. The funny, he said, it is a small sentence there, small sentence. Well, the whole story here is a small sentence. He is explaining there is a debate. Do you see the cowardness of those religion? It's a small sentence, small sentence, but he explained you have a half brain, you have administration, you have... And now he's saying, well, if... Uh, if what? Sadaqa and charity. Now... This is misunderstood by, unfortunately, too many people uh, to indicate or to, to assume that a majority of women will go to Jahannam. Let us be very clear here. The fact that the majority of Jahannam will be women does not imply that the majority of women will go to Jahannam. If What the heck? People, did you hear what I heard? He just said, the fact that the majority of people of hell are women does not imply that the majority of women, they will be in hell. What? <laughs> listen, listen carefully. This is Yasir Qadi, he's trying to be a philosopher. The fact that the majority of hell fire of Jahannam are women does not imply that the majority of women are going to go to hell. Yes, sir, Kadi, I have a question for you. What kind of hashish you are talking, man? Taking you know, my friend, uh, what did you did you smoke something before you go live on air or something? How in the world you say that? So where Allah He got the women from? The majority of hellfire are women. Women. Then you say it doesn't imply that the majority of women they will go to hell. So who is that? <laughs> of Jahannam will be women does not imply that the majority of women will go to Jahannam. If in one area or one location you have a majority of people of let's say one profession, it does... What one location? He's speaking, he said women, women, women. He did not say, hey you, do you see the stupidity? And he described things all women have, goes for all women. All women, they don't allow, they aren't allowed to be a witness in the court in the case of capital punishment, only in the case of borrowing money. And two women only equal to one man if the Muslim accept those two women. They have to examine them because the Quran says that they are stupid. And women, all women who have menstruation, all women have menstruation, unless like some people, maybe they have like a, uh, like um, some uh, illness or something. So, but Muhammad make it clear, all women, and he's speaking about the only place people will go to. There's two places. There's heaven, there's hell. And he said the majority of hellfire are women. So those women are coming from where then? If not all women, they are going to a majority of them. And now he tried to fix it even better. It does not mean that that profession represents the majority of all of mankind unless and until we are told the statistics of Jannah this in and of itself is meaning unless he's been told that the statistic he just told you the majority who cares if it is 70 percent or 80 percent now you're a prophet he just said the majority I mean do we need even the percentage? He just said the majority. The majority mean the majority. What is static?
meaningless when it comes to most women or most men going to heaven or hell, the statistic, uh, the statistic becomes meaningless. In fact, we learn uh, that from the earliest of times, many of the Sahaba and early scholars, they said that both Jannah and Jahannam shall have more women in it. And this is based on a hadith in Sahih Muslim that Muhammad ibn Sirin said that the men and the women began having a debate amongst themselves, which one shall be more in Jannah. And so there's this debate going on until finally uh, they asked Abu Huraira radiallahu an, and Abu Huraira used as an evidence that every single man shall be given at least two wives in Jannah. Do you see the donkey? But those are women are made for sex in heaven. They are not women from this earth, you donkey. They are talking about the whore. Guys, do you see the stupidity? He want to now prove the opposite, that the majority of people, actually, this is what I said before. Muhammad is a stupid. When Muhammad, he promised them 72. 72, not, oh, not two, 72. So how the majority of hellfire there will be women when you will be short in number? Is the number of men now is one man to 72 women? Actually, there's a hadith. Uh, maybe I need to find it. That will be laughable. Maybe a different time. But here they see the stupidity. This guy, he just jumped to speak about the version which Allah will make in heaven and he will give them to the Muslims. And he says, well, you know what? The women in heaven, there will be more. But those are not the women from this earth, you coward. So do you see how they try to fix and how they lie? The women in heaven, the whore, is in heaven. They are not included in this argument. They are not in this earth. Muhammad is not speaking to them. Uh, let us see. <clears throat> Look what just let us get this with this potato busted. The prophet said, Whenever a woman harms her husband in this world, where in this world, where in this world, where. In this world, if you ask me why I'm repeating, because Muhammad he repeat three times, you know his people are very slow. So when a woman she harm her husband in this world, his wives among the whores in Jannah. You stupid son of Mutayyas al Qadi, they are already in Jannah. Says. You must not harm him. May Allah destroy you. Here we go. The women are fighting now. The women in heaven are sharpening their nails. They want to attack the wife in earth because the wife in earth, she is harming the husband. Same on you, okay? May Allah curse you. May Allah destroy you. May Allah make you hummus. May Allah make you hummus. Allah make you hummus, the wife of the man in the earth make you hummus, please Allah make her hummus, she is very bad, you know, we are the virgin in Allah, we are here waiting for him, and then he, they say to him, you must not harm him, okay, may Allah destroy you, he is only passing by there, you are just a gas station there. <laughs> so what this guy is talking about? So he wanted to prove to us that the majority of women in, he in heaven are actually in, are in, in, in Jannah are women. But those are the, the sex toys. And as you see, they are just horny waiting for you. Stop, stop hurting my future husband. He is so sexy and you know it. And imagine, guys, I don't, you, I don't want you to imagine something difficult. So I'm going to use something easy to imagine. All right? So... <clears throat> <laughs> all right, all right. So imagine, brother and sisters, that Zachar Naik, he had a fight with his wife. 
The virgin with the are waiting for Zakar Naik, they see him as the most sexy and you know it. So Zakar Naik he is speaking to his wife. I did tell you, and I warned you one at a time. If you don't make cooking baby when I come home, I'm going to divorce you. The wife she said to him, You stupid Zakar Naik, if I turn the fan, I can throw you out. You are so skinny, and anyone can kick you out of the house. My belly is ten times bigger than yours. Don't don't try me. Zakir Naik, like Muhammad, he now need the help and the support of Allah. He said to her, listen to me carefully. If you try to harm me, Allah is my protector and the real and furthermore all the evil. And not only that, the time of Aladdin and the believer and all my audience and my fan on YouTube. And then during this conversation, the version in the heaven, they will say to Zakir Naik or to his wife, May Allah curse you, you are hurting Zuzu. May Allah destroy you, leave Zuzu alone. May Allah make you shish kebab. May Allah make you ugly and break your nails. You are hurting Prophet Zuzu, peace upon him. Don't touch his beard. This is our Zuzu. And then Zuzu like he was, mm -hmm. see, <laughs> see? <laughs> he Muslims, those women, they are talking to who? I mean, they are in heaven, nobody can hear them. What the point of this conversation? Do you, do you think Muhammad is high hashish, you know? So the, the virgin in the heaven, they are saying, don't harm him, please. He's our husband. Don't harm him, you evil door. He is just passing by. And then what the heck of this conversation? The guy cannot hear it. The wives cannot hear it. And who can hear this conversation? I know Muhammad, he heard that. Don't hurt Zuzu. You hurt Zuzu, you are out of luck. The virgins in the heaven are watching over Zuzu. Zuzu, Zuzu, how you do? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. You became a joke for everyone. And here we do make you barbecue. Zuzu, Zuzu, how you do? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. You know what? Guys, I'm going to convert to Islam just for a few days. You know? And I want to see what's happening around me. My life will change. I will be a different person. You know? I will open a channel on YouTube praising Prophet Muhammad. And then the Muslim will swear, like they will swarm my channel. Imagine! If a Christian prince, he said, I became a Muslim, what will happen? Mean, those Muslims, they will go crazy. Takbir. Suddenly, the guy, Christian prince, is the most wonderful person in the world. He is amazing. He is so good, man. This guy is so good. And uh, I will change my name and make it Zakir and uh, Naik, you know. <clears throat> By the way, the word, the last name of Zakir Naik is very bad in Arabic. Don't use it. It's an F word, literally. I'm telling you, it's the F word. Uh, you know, there is a, there is a, in, in, in Saudi Arabia, uh, the Pakistan, they decide to send an ambassador and he have a name. The Saudi Arabian government, they refuse to refuse him, not because of security, not because of he is bad person, he hates Saudi Arabia. No, 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 no. His name, his name in Arabic is, was the biggest, biggest penis. And then I ask myself, I mean, those people, when they choose their names, how in the world they choose such a name for their son? The biggest penis in Arabic. So imagine the Saudi TV now, they will go and they will introduce that today, the ambassador of Pakistan, Mr. Bigger, biggest Penis, he was shaking hand with the king of Saudi Arabia as an ambassador. Hmm. Uh, you cannot for a joke. What is that? You cannot for a joke. You know, Kokani, Christian. Now I know why my English is better than everybody. Alhamdulillah. What is what the heck with this English? It is a shame you cannot for joke. Okay, let me call Zakir Naik so he can explain to us what you just said. Teradam, 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 Zakir. Christian Prince, I told you don't call me. We have a question, serious question. A person in the chat says to me, You cannot for a joke. What does that mean? Great print. First of all, the word far means you are far away. And the word dog 
It did not look into a June 7 in the mirror. What the heck? Will you solve the issue? Exactly. Allah, he inspired me, and I can answer any question. Okay, your God have a son? I can answer that. Allah don't have a son. Uh, why he cannot have a son? Allah cannot have a son. Did you say he cannot? Actually, he can. But I want to say that he don't want to have a son. Okay, why he don't want to have a son? Is that a problem? Okay, first of all, show me your faith. And tell me your name. And then I can debate you. Okay. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim here who would like to join us in Skype? And say hello? <clears throat> oh boy. Do we have any Abdul? Prophet Zuzu, peace upon him. Defend Prophet Mumu, peace be upon him. And they are sponsored by God, Lulu, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And by the way, disclaimer, don't do that at home. You see, we did show you the story of the guy who put a miswak in his anus. Don't do that at home. As you see, Allah will punish you and he will make you give birth after nine months. I mean, why nine months? I mean, does it take that long really to, to, to make a rat? You will give birth for a rat, a child he have a have a have a he have a look like a rat. He have a head of a fish, and he have an anus of a rabbit. And that is a mysterious for me. I want to know why in the world his anus. I mean, what is the point? I mean, they go into details into the anus. You know, there's a hadith. I don't know if I can find it in English. <coughs> uh, there's a Muslim who passed away. And you know, Islamic science, it always work. So this Muslim, he passed away. And uh, one of their sheikhs, he said he didn't, he's not dead. They said, how do you know? He, you know, the Muslim, when a man, he died, they strip him from his clothes and he put him, they put him on the table, he's naked. So he put his finger in the anus of the man. And he told them he is not dead. And then after that, every single one in the funeral, before the funeral, they start placing their finger in the anus of the guy to prove that he is not dead. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, the guy, after he figured out later what happened to him, that everyone in town, he put his finger in his anus, he might even kill himself. <laughs> Oh boy. Let me see if I can find the hadith in English or something. This is like, I actually I saw it once in the, in translated into English, but I don't know if I can find it. Uh, let us see, maybe we can get lucky. Okay. I, I'm looking for something. I found something else. Let us see. Hold on. I just found that shaitan, he came out from the anus of Adam. <laughs> I 
I mean, I know this. I know this story, but I was looking for something else. I found different reference. Let us see this one. Hold on. Tafsir Ibn Kathir. That's deep. Tafsir Ibn Kathir. You know what? Let me see if I can find that in the English version of it. But I don't think in the English version they would say the same. Uh, always the, the, the English one, they take all those crazy stuff. Uh, You know, some people they think like English Ibn Kathir is the same as Arabic Ibn Kathir. There is a huge difference, even the size. Go check how many pages. Uh, you know, I have I have the books of Ibn Kathir in my shows, and I mean, all the books together of Ibn Kathir they are not even uh, I don't know 200, 300 pages in the translation. So let's go to chapter uh, 80, uh, 38. I think 38, uh, 71. Uh, and see Ibn Kathir in English. And I don't think we will find it there in, in the English one. But we will try. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Yeah, I cannot find here anything. Okay, let us go to the different verse. All right. Go to a chapter of Ar-Rahman. Yeah, you know, I I know that always they will they will try to cover up, and their translation never was honest, not even for not even once. So I don't think I will find it, but we will try. Let us see different website. We have it in front of us in Arabic, but I want to find it in. Uh, you know. If we go here, let us go to let us go to chapter two. See what we do required a lot of work. And because I don't prepare, you know, like I, I speak in a natural way, and we find things in the spot for you, uh, which is impossible for you to find. And that's why what we do is extremely important. And I hope people they are taking reference, so later they will, uh, they will learn. Okay, you see, this is the same, the same. Uh, I open Ibn Kathir in English, and now we go down here. Okay, let us see. Let us see what the word will be. Hmm. Yeah, as as I was expected, I cannot find it in Arabic. See, I'm looking in the English translation, the same page supposedly, but I cannot find it in, in, in the English one.
<clears throat> yeah, nowhere to be found. But I can give you the link for the, the, the verses we are reading. Let us see, I have somebody. He is a Muslim, I guess, saying, take my call. Let us see. Mostly it's a bully person. Let us see. <clears throat> he is not answering. Hello? 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 Well, your voice is very low. I cannot hear anything. Are you there? I cannot hear you. All right, well. Next time, maybe, you can call me. Anyway, here, in the front of us here, let us show you what we have here. So when Adam, so uh, yeah, Adam, when Allah, he created Adam, he, he made Adam stay for 40 years as a clay. So he's just a clay for 40 years. And then Shaitan, uh, he was like wondering what Allah he created, you know. So he entered into Adam and he came out from his anus. And then he said to the angels, don't be afraid of this. It's empty. And actually here, there is a problem in this story. He said, inna rabbukumu samad. He said, your Lord is full and this one is empty inside. And here we ask the Muslims, Allah is full with what? You see, when the Muslims, they say self-sustain, self-whatever, when they translate the word Samad, they get themselves busted. It says, your Lord is full, and this guy, Adam, which was a, 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 you know, a clay at that moment, he is empty from inside. Any Muslim can solve the problem? And not, you know, not to forget that the shaitan, he entered the buttocks, he entered from his mouth, and he came out from his anus. And this is how we, ex you know, explore. This is how we explore what is inside Adam and this is Ibn Kathir which I cannot find really in English you know this is a this is a chapter uh, 2 here verse number 34 but I could not find the interpretation in the English one. Maybe if I switch the page after it, let us see. Let us go, this is what this is. No. Okay. 34. Let us see, 35, 36, maybe. Okay. Until now, I see nothing. Let us try 37. Nothing too. So they took it off from the English translation. It's not even there. You know? And here, you know, you ask yourself, why in the world Muslims who they are translating, they take off 
from a book what is there this is a make a theory in English if there is any Muslim can help us to find what is written in Arabic in the in the true book of Ibn Kathir in the English one, tell us why we cannot find it. And actually, if you read here, and you understand why why Muhammad is why why sorry the Muslims trying to cover it. It says here, it's a totally fiction story. Uh, when Allah he says to the angels uh, uh, when I breathe into him bow down and when he breathed into him his ruh which is soul it came into his head and then Adam he sneezed Hachu. and then the angels they said thanks to Allah and then he said Adam he said thanks to Allah too then Allah, he said to him, may Allah have mercy on you, may, may your Lord have mercy on you. And then when the soul enter into his eyes, he looked and he saw the fruits of heaven. And when the soul enter his belly, he desired food. So he tried to stand up before the soul reach his feet. So he can grab the fruits of heaven. And this is where Allah, he says, human being who was created ever hasty. Chapter of Al-Anbiya, verse number 37. Muslims, why we cannot find this is in, in the English translation? Anyone? The answer is very simple. You cannot trust any Islamic book translated by Muslims. The only way to get a book that might be truthful, not necessarily, is to be translated by somebody. He have a good reputation to be truthful. He will not take a side. He will translate as it is, no matter what is the sentence is. And I don't see that in any Muslims. The only Muslim actually you might think, see they, they, they will translate that true translation is somebody he belonged to ISIS. Because you see ISIS and Al-Qaeda and those people they are proud about their belief not like those Muslims in YouTube. So they don't mind to, to translate as it is. But I don't think those people are meant to be translators they are terrorists. This is the link. You can use Google Translation to see yourself. And this is Ibn Kathir. You know? I found you a link which is uh, like easier to open. Uh, and you can use Google Translation to translate. And after you use Google Translation, I think the best way, uh, search for the word sneeze, sneeze. And then you can read like the line before it, you know, just like you click at translate, I will do that. And then search in English for the word sneeze or your, your language, whatever language it is, yours. So he sneezed, so the soul enter from his head, he sneezed. So I think the easiest way to search for the word sneezed and then you will find it and you will find the rest of the story here. And if you want to see where it says, where he entered into his anus, uh, you, you know, I mean, Google might not translate the word correctly, anus, the brahu. So when you search for the word sneeze, just go, you know, one line, two line, those lines are when shaitan, he entered inside him and he found him hollow. He said to the angels, your God, Allah is full inside. This, this person is hollow, so don't fear him. So it looked like a shaitan, he was doing like a, an explore mission, so he can find out 
what is uh, Adam is made of, what he is, what he is really, you know, it's like, you know, exploring mission. Any question? <clears throat> All right, I think we have a good time together. Uh, uh, master, just to show you another uh, Muslim, another, another stupid Muslim. Master Splinter, he said, Paul the pagan, he forgot to wear his sunglasses, so he got abused by the light. Hey, uh, Mr. Uh, master, what if I show you the story of Paul in your book that when he saw Jesus, he got blinded? Is that fair, guys? Just to show you how stupid those people are. They make fun of things written in their books. <laughs> Abdul, in the front of everybody. What if I show you that the story you are making fun of is written in your books? Do you accept the challenge? Abdul, potato, what if I show you that the story of Paul, he got blinded by the light of the Lord is in your book and not only that Paul after that he repent to Jesus and he promised him to do jihad for his sake potato don't play dead now they will play dead <laughs> now they will play dead <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anything you say, Muslims, I have your laundry. You are talking to Christian Prince. Anything you say to me is going to be used against you. This is not a Christian channel where you can make fun and you can go away with things. Here, here we have the garbage of your prophet. Here. And now the guy is dead. When the funeral will be? Ask Joe Biden. Peace be upon him. You know the thing. Hey, Joe Biden, why this guy is not answering? You know the thing. What the heck? What does that mean? Well, the thing will explain the thing. What the heck? What to, the, the guy, his name is Master, and he is a splinter too. I mean, he have a lot of things together. Paul is a pagan. The Quran and the Prophet never mentioned Paul, the pagan. I know the opinion you will show. Opinions. If, 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 if. Guys, it is an opinion, brother. It is an opinion. Okay, get lost. It's an opinion of your scholars and the opinion of your prophet companions. And all of Islam is about opinion. Brother, can you tell me who is Israel? According to the opinion, he is Jacob. <laughs> Abdul, you just got a miswak in your anus, and in nine months from now, let me prophesy for you. In nine months from now, you will deliver a rat from your anus, as the opinion say, brother. <laughs> You know what? You see, guys, in the Quran, I want this, this Abdul to show me if in the Quran we can find one phrase in the Quran saying that Muhammad was taken to heaven. What he will say? The opinion says he went to heaven. The Hadith says the Quran never says so. Do you know that? Can you believe it? Why the stupid God of Islam, he never said that Muhammad, he went to heaven. And it's, you know, even he, he took him where? Nobody knows. It says Al-Aqsa. 
at night. Where is it, Aqsa? It says, Glory to Allah, the one who take his servant for a journey by night. From the second most to the farthest most. Where is heaven? The Muslim, they will refute you saying, in the opinion. Uh, my friend, all of you Muslims can refute me. But are you refuting you? You remember Mimi Hijab when he, I called him? He said, Jabir, Jabir, this hadith is not accurate. I was quoting for him different book, stupid son of Muta. I was quoting for him different books and many interpretation. And this is your books. So you cannot say you can refute me. Are you refuting yourself? This is your books. Muhammadan, those are your books. And your Fifi and your Mimi, if they can refute me, they will dare to call me and debate me. But they don't. They don't. Why? Because they knew they are no match. CP. This hadith is according to Shushu. Shushu, shu, shu, he said to Shushu. Shushu, shu, he said to Mimi. Mimi said to Fifi. And everybody knows that Fifi is a liar. So this hadith is not valid. Is that true? If it's not valid, why? It's in your book. So when a Muslim, he says they refuted you, well, you are refuting yourself. As long as you are sure you can refute me, let me call you. If you don't dare to call me, at least give me your Skype, I will call you. Is that fair, people? If somebody claimed that he can call me, he can refute me, how come you can refute me by talking to yourself? I mean, if I play chess, it doesn't matter if I win or, win or lose, I will never lose if I'm playing alone. We open our Skype for five, six hours. They have excuse I hang up on them. I will promise I will never ever hang up on them. Can they promise the same? Be a man. Promise you will never hang up on me. I promise I will. And the one who hang up first, he is a loser. Deal? No bully. No name calling. Topic. Who they are? They don't. All Muslims can refute me. But the fact is that Paul is mentioned all over their book. And the Quran, okay, I want to ask the Muslims when the Quran speak about the third and the most powerful messenger of Allah. Who is he? Muslims, who is he? Give me your opinion. What your prophet told you? Cowards. So look at this religion. Don't show us what is written in our books. We will refute you. Can you believe it? You are not refuting me. You cannot refute me. You are trying to refute yourself. You are being stupid now. And it's not one book I'm showing you, not two books, not three books, not four books, not five books. It's all over your religion. Who is a Muslim can show me that your prophet said that Paul is not a messenger of Allah? Anyone can show me? Look like your prophet never heard of Paul. Why the Muslims are obsessed with Paul? Huh? Al Qurtubi, Ibn Kathir, Al Baghawi, Sharh al Qadir, endless. Any Muhammadan? 
all of them, they can refute me. And when you ask them, you are refuting what exactly? What is written in Ibn Kathir? That's mean you are not refuting me. That's in Ibn Kathir is a fraud. We are refuting al baghawi We are refuting this and that. So, Hmm. Any Abdul? Potatoes. Yeah, even when they like they give us, uh, they say, uh, did you watch to weave a singer? To weave a singer, he gave a finger to Muhammad and he said the story of Mary to be a virgin is coming from the Greek mythology. Yet the, 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 the Muslims, because of their hate, they support the guy. I mean, the guy, he just told you that your God, Allah and Muhammad are a liars. And the story of Jesus being born of a virgin from the Greek mythology and the, and the video is there. I made a video about it. Not a single Muslim get upset from the guy. Why? Because they want to use him. They are trying to use him against Christianity. Remember the guy when he was attacking this uh, story, he was attacking Christianity, you know, but he forgot or he is stupid to know that Mary in Islam, she was a virgin too. So when he accused the Christians of copying a, 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 like a mythology of the Greek, you just accused Muhammad to be a false person too. But the Muslim, they were not there to say to him, he's a Jew, they fear the Jews. Their God feared the Jews. They have a phobia from the Jews. Uh, if you check about ISIS and Al-Qaeda, they want to kill everybody, but they don't dare to get close to the Jews. They knew they were there no match. Even their Quran says that the Jews are people who fight behind the walls. In fact, the one who hide behind the walls is the Muhammadan. The Muslim, they say to you, don't you see they have a doom? This is a wall now. Well, just two days ago, three days ago, 40, 30 soldiers of the Israeli army went inside Gaza, all the way to the heart of Gaza. And all of Hamas fighters, they were hidden like rats. Where? Under the ground. You see them in when they have a speech, you see tens of thousands of Hamas holding guns. When 30 soldiers from the Israeli army go inside Gaza, they disappear. You don't believe me? I can show you the news. They disappear. They go. The same, you know, the same as in the south of Lebanon. Uh, you know, they speak about Hezbollah, the resistance, the, 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 you know, the fighter for Allah, the Mujahideen. The Israeli army landed in the highway, in the, in the, in the Shia territory, in Hezbollah territory. They captured the highest person after, you know, after the head of Hezbollah, the assistant, who was going to be the president of Hezbollah later, or the leader. They capture him with a bunch of bodyguards. They put them in an airplane and they have dogs with them. Imagine they were walking in the highway with dogs. Those guys are going for a hunt. And all the terrorists in Beirut, they disappear. After they took the sheikh, who is a terrorist, and they fly and they disappear from the sky. Suddenly, the terrorists, they are in the street and they have guns. Ch -ch 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 what happened? 
Hallo? <lacht> What happened? What happened, huh? Who is the one who hide? And they go and they hide between children and women. But the most funny thing I saw last week, uh, the uh, Jihad al-Islami, uh, they shot many missiles at the, at the at Israeli uh, uh, houses. And the funny is that half of them, they hit their own houses. Can you believe it? They shoot a missile, the missile go back to them. Look, actually I found the video, here we go, it's a short video. Here it says, actually I want to show you the video from a TV station sponsored by uh, Hezbollah. The guy, he was like, the camera is on and he says, Allahu Akbar, now the Mujahideen, they are shoot, shooting missiles uh, at, at the... At the Israeli, and now it's going to the ocean. It's going to, uh, it's going to the ocean. No, no, no. It's not going to the ocean. It's going to the ocean, and boom! It fell in the top of their head. And then the guy, the the Muslim host of Al Mayadi, which is a terror station, they, he said to the camera guy, "Move, move the camera, move the camera, so people will not see where 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 the missile fell down." I'm just trying to find it for you. Hold on. Uh, Al Jazeera TV and. Yeah. Huh. Read, read, read. Islamic Jihad rocket launches at Israel, misfires and landed in Gaza. They shoot missiles, 99% of them, they fill in their head. Look like Allah is not on your side, my friend. No, 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 not memory TV. This is new. This is a few days ago. No, no, I saw it. Actually, I saw it in a, in a TV owned by Emirat. You know, Emirat, uh, they hate, uh, they hate uh, Hezbollah. And this is Sunni, you know, Sunni, they hate the Shia. So they were making fun of those Mujahideen because this is a Jihad al-Islami. They are Shia terrorists. They are Shia, Hamas or Sunni, you know, and actually even in their TV, they say they were saying, where is Hamas? The Israeli army, 50, 60 uh, commanders, they went in. Everybody hide. Every single one of them, he hide. There's a program. It's I, I think it's uh, I forgot the name. Hold on. Let me sorry for the name. I don't know the name of the guy who do the program. But I forgot what station, because I don't watch really Arabic TVs. Uh, Sky News, Sky News Arabic. Uh, yeah. Guys, the title here, let me show you. This is Sky News Arabic, and the guy who's speaking is a Muslim, he's a Sunni. The Muhwar uh, uh, al uh, like the, the group of resistance, they call them the group of resistance, Hamas, Iran, Syria, etc. So he's saying, well, an Hamas. He's saying, looking for Hamas, where we can find Hamas. <laughs> and this is five days ago. So he is saying, okay, okay, you are a Mujahideen, you are fighters, you have tens of thousands of fighters and guns. How come we could not find you when the Israeli army get in? Where are you? Where are you, Mohammedan? Huh? Where are you? After they go in, and they do what they need to do. You don't find, the, I mean, after they go and they leave, and you know, here actually, this is Al-Mayadeen, 
Okay, listen, this is, this is the, the part actually I want to show you. This is the part I want to show you from Al Mayadeen TV, which is prayed in Sky uh, Sky News Arabic. So the guy from the terrorist station Al Mayadeen, which is sponsored by uh, uh, Hezbollah, he's saying now now they are shooting the Mujahideen, they are shooting now it's coming, etc. And you know he. Missiles now, missiles, missiles coming out now. Missiles, missiles are going to, uh, to the direction of the ocean, like the, is the sea, so they can cross and go and hit the, the Jews. Now, maybe, but, uh, Ahmad, Ahmad, now the missile is hitting maybe to to destroy the gas uh, 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 storage house for the Israeli. Maybe Ahmad is hitting, and now the missile. Guess where the missile fell down? Watch. Boom. The missile explode. The, 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 the guy is holding the camera now. He moves his hand to show them where the missile hit. Now Bahar Ahmad. Now he's telling him, move the camera. Don't go there. Move. The missile fate and fell on their head. Look, in their head. And then he will say to the guy, move the camera, move the camera. Go up, go up. <laughs> so this guy in the, in the, in the sky in the he is a Muslim. He's making fun of them. He says, what the heck? It just fell in the top of you. And you are saying to the guy, change the camera direction so people would not see. Life on air, you stupid. They claim victory. It doesn't matter what happened to them. This is what Muslims, they debate you, they lose, they are victorious. You know? They go in war with Israel, they lose, they are victorious. Allah Akbar. True story. And the funny is, the Muslims being taught by Muhammad that the Jews are coward and they fight you from behind walls. And then we find that all the Mujahideen, they are like rats going under the ground in the sewage. Who is the one is hiding? Here we go. The Israeli army go all the way inside Gaza and you hide. Why you don't go and fight? You have guns. They are not going inside with tanks. They are not going with tanks. They are going inside with airplanes. They are going down with soldiers in the foot. Why don't fight them? That is the truth, my friend. Anyway, the truth will set you free. Okay, do we have any other question? Yeah, exactly. Even if the if the, the thing is a flying is a is a is a is a bird, the Abdul will insert it's a goat. Right? Any question guys? And for the Muslims who can refute me. All of you can refute me. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot ignore that. The same way you can fight Israel. Once upon the time, the Muslims decide to do jihad against Israel. And they decide to throw the Jews in the ocean. And then Egypt, Syria, Iraq, Morocco, every Muslim from everywhere coming, even uh, uh, you know, fighters from Pakistan, from Bangladesh, from whatever, come from around the world to fight the little tiny Jews in Israel. And then guess what happened? The Jews, they took Jerusalem. Not only, not only, they defeat them, they took Jerusalem. The dream of the Jews to have back their land, they did. So, 
you know, they can say, Somebody saying people they die in a church. It says here because of electric uh, fire in a church in Egypt. Well, we pray for them. What you can do? Yeah. Exactly. It is Israel land, and the land they will have it, and they have it. You see what uh, my, my fear regarding Israel, that Israel now have a lot of liberals, and those liberals, wherever they go, they destroy everything. So I hope that the, the Israeli, they will not have a majority one day of liberals. You know, because the more you give land, they will not let you go. You see, like now, the, 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 the silly ones, they agree with the American. If we give them Gaza, we will have peace. No, you will not. If we give him the other side of the country, we will have peace. No, you will not. You are just mis you are just giving more land, and this is not their land. Can you tell the story how you went to a chat room and you went raising Muhammad, but Muslim audience liar? Why am I tell the story? I mean, you know it already. Yeah, what he's saying, like once in a chat room in Pal Talk, I went to a Muslim room. They gave me the mic because they knew, like, I'm the enemy of Allah. Uh, so I took the microphone. I said, Praise be to Allah. Prophet Muhammad was the most amazing man. He never lied. He never, and the Muslim, they were saying in the chat like crazy, liar, Christian prince, liar, you filthy liar, may Allah curse you. See, Prophet Muhammad never killed anyone. Liar, liar, lie. I mean, crazy people, they don't, they aren't listening. They knew that this guy is a Christian prince. So whatever I say, they were saying a liar. So I was saying Muhammad is a great, wonderful man. They say liar, the whole chat room, not a single one. Hundreds of them. I say Muhammad never had sex with the children. Liar, liar, you coward, you coward, you filthy, may Allah punish you. Prophet Muhammad never been accused of stealing underwear. Liar, liar. <laughs> and then the admin, he took the microphone from me, he gave me a red dot, he says, you stupid, he was saying, the Prophet was a good man, you call him a liar. Are you even listening? This guy, he beat us even when he speak good about Muhammad. And supposedly he is a smart one, but it took him five minutes to figure out what I'm saying. I, if you are really smart, did you notice? The admin of the chat room supposedly he is the he is the genius between them. He noticed, but after what? You know, watch for the Imam Al Mahdi arrive. I don't know. I thought the Imam Mahdi is a Isa. Is he? You Muslims, you have no idea what uh, you Muslims, you have no idea what you are saying. Who is Al Mahdi? The guy he says, "Watch, Al Mahdi will come." Is that the one who his mother she gave birth to him from her thigh? Is that the one? Hmm? Is it true there is a hadith says that the Mahdi is the Messiah? You say yes or no? Brother, say yes or no? <laughs> yeah, dude, you are talking to Christian Prince. I have all your laundry. So the one, the Mahdi you are talking about, according to your religion, he's hiding in a cave. He's a rat. In the same time, you idiot. You Muslims, you don't know who is this guy. Some, we are so confused. So you claim that the Mahdi is the Messiah. In the other hand, you claim that it's not. What's wrong with this religion? Here we go. Let us love together.
I'm sure he never see this before, but this is why we are here just to laugh at you. Do you see it? There is no Mahdi except Isa, the son of Mary. Do you see it? Stupid religion. People, do you see it? I mean, those people, they, are, they fabricated stories, and then their stories go against their own stories. So now if you ask this guy, who is the Mahdi? Who is the Mahdi? According to his comment, now Al-Mahdi and Isa are two different people. But the Hadith says, no, it's one person. So Abdul, my Jesus will come and he will make your God shish kebab. I assure you that. Potato. Potato, 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 do you know why they don't debate me? Because I have their laundry. Do you know what they don't debate me? Because I have their laundry. <laughs> the Mahdi from Fatima. Is that the one who Umar al-Khattab, he kicked her ass and she died? And you Muslim Shia, you are you Shia? You claim that Jibreel was washing dishes for her cleaning the house for her, uh, uh, making zucchini for her. So where Jibreel was when Umar al-Khattab, he came to her house and he killed her and he killed her baby in her belly. Blah, 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 By the way, my mother told me, this is a long time story, a long time ago, because I'm a special person, that Jibreel used to come and do laundry, you know? In the old days, they used to use diaper like for children. It's not like now, you know, you throw them in the garbage. So Zabriel, he told my mother, don't worry. He, let, let the CP, he do two poo, poo I will wash it. So I do poo, poo and I was doing it in purpose as much as I can. I made Zabriel hate himself. I do poo, poo he wash it. I do poo, poo he wash it. I eat more so I can do more poo, -poo. And I was laughing at him. Dying. I mean, have you ever heard that an angel of God is doing laundry and washing dishes and telling Fatima stories. Who is this Fatima? Muhammadan, you have a mental illness. The guy doing laundry to the women and he is washing dishes for her and he is telling her stories before she sleep. And then Umar al-Khattab, he, 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 he caused his, her death. Where, where was Jibreel to protect her? You know what? I'm doing too many hours. I think you guys are not even having time to watch my previous videos. So maybe soon I will start like slowing down in the uh, in the video what do you think guys what do you think hmm? what do you think too much videos for you to watch it's too much and many long hour so i'm trying to sh i will try to shorten it i'm going to order like a watch or something i will i will i will, uh, I will set alarm in my uh, phone like when i arrive like i will make a very short video i will make the maximum eight hours you know what do you think guys and I will be waiting for uh, Jibril to come and tell me it's time to go. Yeah, yeah, go on. Man, you are not a man. You, you, you are a rabbit and a rabbit anus. If you are a man, call me. Get out of here. You and your Maddie. No, no, I will make it short. And I'm, I'm, I, will, I will make it like eight hours maximum. You know, very short. And then, like, if I want to make it longer, I will go, like, 12 hours or maybe 13 or maybe 14, you know? It's like the story of the people of the cave. Like, they said to Muhammad how many there are. 
So Muhammad, he do not know the answer, and he's an idiot of the village. He says, some they say they are three and their dog is number four. And some they say they are four and their dog is number five. And some they say they are five and their dog is number six. And some they say they are seven and their dog is number five. <laughs> he's stupid, Muhammad. Give us the answer, man. And until now, we are waiting for the answer. Until now, Muhammad do not know. Uh, about Shia, yeah, we can make a special program about Shia. Why not? Maybe next time we will see. Anyway, guys, I think it's time to go. It's already how many hours now? Two hours and forty-five minutes and twenty-nine seconds was like hell on Muhammad. Mean Muhammad, he hit me. So if you want to download my videos and you think they are long, you can. And I think they are long. Come on, they are long. Come on. Even this one need an argument about it. So what you can do, you can cut the video, make it a topic at the moment. Like I spoke about uh, the guy who put the miswak in his anus, make a video with that title. Uh, we spoke about uh, Somerville, make a video, cut the, you know, cut it and make that a topic by itself. So cut it pieces and that will make you have more videos in your channel and it will make it easier for people to watch and to download or to share. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. Remember, knowledge is power and this is why they fear us because we have the, we have the truth we have the knowledge and the muslim they will be so brave only when you are ignorant they will not step one step forward to a person who is occupied with faith and knowledge so always occupy yourself with the truth and the truth will set you free and always take notes and learn because nothing powerful as education. And education, if it's used for the right purpose, it's a powerful education. As in the book of Psalm, where it says in 127, that the builders, they are building in vain. Why? Because they don't have God in their side. So don't build in vain. Learn so you can spread the truth. Except the Lord build the house. The labor is in vain that build it, except the Lord de keep the city. The watchman cannot watch it. He was watching it in vain. So keep the Lord in your side. And the Lord, he says, read the books. And we are here to share with you the books, our books, and their stupid books. So we can fight their lies by their own books. And this is why they fear what we do. If I am here just to speak about the gospel, trust me, the Muslim, they will not consider that a threat for their religion because they will say, well, we don't believe in this book anyway. But when we show them their books, that is the painful thing for them. It is their books. And when you deny your books, you will look like an idiot. And people will laugh at you. And when you say this hadith is da'if, you are proving to us again that Islam is invalid and Islam is full of fiction and stupid stories because why it is there if it is invalid? And who is the one who decides what is valid or is not? And if Islam is not only the Quran, it's Quran and Hadith, why Hadith is not preserved? And not only that, we find that even the Quran, which is supposed to preserve, which is not, is full of stupid stories. Don't forget, if you have hail, hail is coming from mountains in heaven. And this is a true story. So actually, I'm going to go to the mountain, which is in heaven. I'm going to put some TNT in it. I will break it pieces. And I, you know, uh, uh, I'm going to destroy those mountains. So we will not get hurt again ever. Because Allah, he will use the hail uh, to hit us in our head. Uh, which is coming from the mountains, brother, in heaven. And this is in the preserved Quran, brother, you know? And the Muslim, they try to fix it. So look what they say. He sent down from the sky hill, and they put between two bracket like mountain. This is say like, this says from mountains. And the Abdul now, he tried to cover his ass. So he say, or, or, what the heck? Or there are, in heaven mountains of hail them from there where it stands and the 
What the, what, the, what the heck? You see how they duct tape? Chapter 24, verse number 43. And you go to their interpretation. You show it to them. They will say, it doesn't say that, CB. We don't agree with the opinion, CB. This opinion was valid for centuries and centuries and centuries. And their prophet is the one who taught it. And then they don't agree with the opinion, CB. You know, when the Muslim, you show him something in his book, you feel like you just shot him with electricity. You know, didn't say that, CB. You know, what, what the heck? Uh, uh, okay. So it says here, he sent down from the heaven mountain wherein is hail to he punish, brother. Man. This is Ibn Abbas. Man, 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 man. And this is C, the other one, Ajlalain. And he sent down from the heaven out of mountains min jibalin min is extra that they're in in the heaven fatha you know they are explained supposedly like they're using grammar you know and then he says he sends from mountains in heaven hail brother this is pure science it's true and now if you have the weatherman is saying something to you not true get him busted call the tv station tell them you stupid you idiot Muta boy, this is not true. Hail is coming from mountain in heaven. Go watch the movie Avatar. Do you see Avatar, the guy with the green tail? The story is true. And those are mountain flying in the sky and they are hail and Allah break them pieces and he send them on us. And this is how we hurt our cars and our head to punish us. And thank you very much for being here. Uh, uh, let me pray to Allah to protect the anus of any Muslim from the suwak, for the suwak can cause a very bad damage, and you can make you have a rat after nine months. So please be careful with suwak, respect the suwak, brother. If you have a suwak at home, put him in the chair, make him wear a tie, show him respect, you know, give him a good greeting, assalamu alaikum when you see the suwak, and when you put it in your mouth, be sure it's your mouth, because some people, their mouth and their anus look the same. You know what I'm saying. Thank you.